Hi, Freshies! Good evening, future Tomashian Lawyers! We're back to give you more tips as you start your Tomashian Lawyer journey. This is the tips or guidelines during the class setting. So do not make unnecessary actions in your Zoom class. Ay, grabe. Natamaan ako dyan, ha? Actually, may kakwento ako sa inyo tungkol dito dati. Because I remember when we had a class, actually, it's a very major class. Sabi, sige, sabihin ko lang yung, pra- yung subject. It is a criminal procedure. Ano siya, malaki siyang klase. Eh. Tapos minsan yung mga prof dyan, mga terror, mga ganyan. Eh, nangyari sa akin, okay resit ko. Ang ganda, nakapag-aral ako. Pero, ito lang. I was not able to take note. Tapag nanerbis pala ako, may isa akong mannerism. Kumakamot ako ng ilong. Kasi minsan mukha na umulangot na ako. Kaya yun ang nangyari, habang kahit hindi ako nag-recite, kumakamot ako ganun tuloy-tuloy. Tapos napansin ako ng prof ko, eh syempre, bilang ano siya, medyo big prof siya, parang medyo na-offend na parang, Mr. Agustin, ba't mo kinakamot yung ilong mo? Ganyan. At ayun, eh, dahil doon nasira ang momentum ko, hindi <laughs> ko na alam kung makakasagot pa ako sa next. Kasi may kasama ng takot, may kasama ng parang, baka mamay, you know, ko, bad shot na ako sa prof na yan. So yun lang, siguro ang takeaway dyan sa story na yan. Ang pinaka-lesson na need natin mag-take, mag-keep into mind is always mind our mannerism. Sometimes subconsciously, we do some things that we do not know we actually do when we're nervous. And part of that, minsan kamot ulo, minsan may kinakamot ka kung saan-saan. And as long as I kita sa camera kung saan ka kumakamot, huwag mong gagawin. Try to limit that mannerism as much as you can. So, yeah. Always, And, always avoid necessary actions too, di ba? <laughs> Nakaka-relate din ako dyan kasi ako naman, sa experience ko, yung bigla ang tumawa yung ka-blockmate ko ay na-distract yung prof ko. 30 minutes kaming nag-deal dahil lang para malaman ng prof kung bakit siya tumatawa. So, yan. Kailangan din natin observe yung mood ng class kahit pati expression natin kasi madaling makita yan dahil nga naka- nakakita tayo lahat sa screen lang and isa lang ititignan. So, mabilis nilang makikita kung sino yung may kakaibang ginagawa during the Zoom class. Mm-hmm. Yung mga nalad ang naruto dito, kung alam niyo yung sharing gun. Yung mga prof natin, may sharing gun yung mga yan. Nakikita nila lahat ng movements mo, mabilis yan. <laughs> kung may, Ito. kahit sa dulo ka, oh, kahit bigla ka lang umano dyan, parang gumanon ka lang bigla, ay, kita yan ang prof mo. <laughs> alam na, nakikita nila yan, promise. Huwag niyong Huwag kayang magpapa-dare. Kahit sabihin ng kaklasa mo, o oh, sige, bigyan kita ng 2,000, mag-ano ka dyan, mag-dub ka dyan, o mag-ano ka. <laughs> parang mag- mag-ubad ka bigla, rasot mo ulit. Ay, huwag mong gagawin yan. May kita yan ng prof. May shining gun yung mga yan. <laughs> okay, so next tip na natin. Always, always turn on your cameras. And yan, kailangan nating tandaan sa, siguro sa undergrad nyo or sa undergrad yung iba na naka-experience ng online setting, pinayagan kayo na mag-off cam. Pero dito sa civil law, it's a rule na kailangan natin na palaging naka-on cam as a respect na din sa prof natin dahil nga lahat naman tayo nahihirapan ngayong pandemic and sila din nahihirapan mag-adjust. So they um, prefer na nakikita yung Um, expressions natin kung nahihirapan ba tayo or kung sobrang bilis na ba para sa atin ang discussion. Nasa-sense sang mga prof natin yan. So, always turn on your cameras na din to help our professor as well. That's true. And also, isipin naman natin, iba before class nga, sabi nga namin sa tips namin kanina, always come prepared. Dapat maganda yung saot mo, maganda yung itsura mo. Tapos, maganda nga itsura mo, di ka naman nag-on ng camp. Ano yan? Di may kita na ang kagupuhan mo, ang kagandahan mo, hindi may kita ng mga klase mo, hindi may kita ng prof mo. At mas lalo na, hindi may kita ng crush mo, di ba? Paano ka man na-notice kung lahat ka naman ako off cam? So, always turn on your cameras. But siguro, kung may problema ko sa internet, hindi ka makakonect, ang pinakamunang kailangan mong gawin, magpaalam ka muna sa prof mo. Sabi mo, sir, or ma'am, or kung sino man, justice, or judge, hindi po ba kapag on ka masyado today. So, mag-on na lang po sa recitation because of something-something, technical difficulties, internet problems. They listen naman sa mga ganyang reasons. So, always make sure to ask first before you turn it off if kailangan talaga. True naman. Kailangan, magbibigay naman sila ng enough consideration for everyone. Pero yun nga, na-pick up ko yung para sa crush. Siyempre, importante pa rin na may inspiration tayo pag mapasok tayo sa Zoom meeting natin, di ba? O baka saan pa mapunta to? Let's receive to the next guideline and always turn off your mic. Okay, totoo-totoo yan. Baka nga malay mo, sobrang inap na ilap ko sa crush mo. Masaya mo bigla na para wow, ang ano, ang pogi, ang ganda naman ni crush. Hindi ka, naka-off mic. Hindi ka pala naka-off mic, di ba? Hindi ka pala naka-mute. 
Eh di syempre, expose ka na. Tapos yung prof mo pala, malakas yung trip. Na ano ka na, nalaglag ka na sa crush mo, di ba? O, di ka. Actually, may mga prof na gano'n na. Minsan, pagka ano, minsan pag may natripan siyang ship na dalawang tao, wala, tapos na yan. <laughs> Baka mahala nyo, talaga pipilit niya magkatuluyan kayo hanggang sa dulo. Kahit tapos na yung pagsasin ninyo, gano'n pa rin. But anyway, kasi ang importante yung maka-off yung mic mo. Kasi minsan, di naman dahil doon na nagsalita ka. Minsan din naman, dahil din naman sa mga nagsasalita or mga noise sa paligid mo. Mali mo pala, kapangalan mo yung prof. Kunyari ako, si Nathan. Prof ko, si Sir Nathan. Tapos yung nanay ko, dumaan. Tapos, ano ba naman yan, Nathan? Wala ka nang ginagawa dyan. O, di ba? Tapos maririg ng prof mo na may sumisigaw na gano'n. Akala niya siya, di ba? So, pag gano'n, masabuti sana kung hindi niya na marinig yun. So, kung hindi niya marinig yun, kanaka off mic ka. So, always keep your mic. Off, turn off, unless you're requested to turn it on. Minsan naman, may mga prof naman na nagkasabi, pag prayer, on nyo yung mga mic ninyo. Ganon, sumunod lang kayo. Pero as much as you can, keep it off if hindi na kailangan. Para lang respect na rin, diba? Ano, addition na rin na, it's a respect na din para hindi ka mag-cause ng unnecessary distraction sa class mo or sa taong nagre-recite. Baka mamaya ma- Uh, mapigilan mo yung momentum ng recitation niya pag biglang may unnecessary noises siyang naririnig sa background. Mahirap yung ganyan. Kaya talaga, tamang-tama yan. Kung sakaling kailangan talaga na very, kung sakaling kailangan talaga na observe your respect, off mo lang lagi yung mic mo. Do not distract anyone. So, for the next one, what is our next tip? Use the chat feature to inform your prof when you are late so they can still check your attendance and avoid distracting the class. You avoid distracting the class, rather. Hindi yung prof niyo mag-distract. True. And syempre, service basis na din yan para makita ng prof mo or ikaw mismo, baka pwede mong i-screenshot yung time ng pag-chat mo sa prof mo para naman maiwasan na ma-record ka as absent. And syempre, maapektuhan kasi dito yung class standing natin na minsan dyan na lang tayo kumakapit dahil nga ang sobrang hirap ng prelims at finals natin. So, kailangan natin i-consider din na uh, baka mamaya nagsasalita and say baka may nag-recept na tapos pumasok tayo tapos bigla ka magsasalita para lang ipa-record yung attendance mo. Mawawala pa rin yung momentum nila. So, as a respect na din to everyone na choose Use the chat feature na lang din to inform when uh, upon entering the class or Zoom meeting. Well, minsan naman siguro, malay mo, yung mga nag-recite pala na pag may bigla nag-butt-in, tas ma-shift yung conversation, matutuwa pa yung mga yung parang, yes, ma-distract, yes, mga kapagano ako. Pero syempre, kahit advantages yan sa nag-recite, kahit gusto niya mo i-distract mo, so just again, try mo lang talaga i-limit. Minsan may mga prof na may inis dyan. Kaya kung kaya, keep everything in the chat box. Yung mga paalam sa chat box na, para hindi ma-distract yung class, tuloy tuloy yung flow, and yung prof nyo, they can address it accordingly. So, tama. Tama din ang tip na ito. And next, in relation to this, use the chat feature to inform your prof or blackmate if you wish to go to comfort room or have a short break. Mm-hmm. And actually, kung talaga yung prof nyo, talagang important sa kanya yung presence sa Zoom meeting. Lagi ka magpapaalam bago umalis. Okay, may kwento na naman ako dito actually. Ito lang ang nangyari. Yung bintana ako, nakabukas pa pala. Hindi ko pa nasasarado. So, ginawa ko, tumayo muna ako para isara yung bintana ko. Tapos, sa saglit na tumayo lang ako na yun, biglang may sumisigaw, Mr. Agustin, where are you? Why are you not in your camera? Tapos, five minutes after, pinaano lang, parang ginagamit yung example ko para pagalitan yung buong klase, di ba? So, ang ano, so this, this, a simple way of giving permission can do a lot for your class. Minsan, yun pala yung make or break para maganda yung mood ng prof nyo or mababad trip siya all throughout the class kasi hindi ka nakapagpaalam before exiting. Lalo na pag mga judge yung prof nyo, syempre, important sa kanila ang decorum, attendance, all of those. And as well as this is very important din to make sure na keep, na keep taking into account yung leave mo for this one. So, do not eat during class unless you're allowed by your professors. And true naman, minsan din kailangan natin ng short break or kahit candy or snack lang para maging um, alive pa rin tayo and hindi tayo mag-zone out. Pero syempre, don't do na, um, nasa school setting pa rin tayo, don't do na meron ka spoon and fork and rice and ulam pa talaga at dead ka pa talaga sa harapan ng professor mo kakain ng inyong heavy meal. So, please avoid doing that. Pero ito naman, pwede ka pa rin mag-ask sa prof nyo 
or pwede nyo siyang itanong or i-confirm sa pag nag down siya ng rules sa class or before sa um, first day of classes, yan. May kasama yan sa mga tinatanong or importanteng tanungin kasi hindi lang naman uh, ikaw yung magbe-benefit pero yung buong block yung magbe-benefit. Siyempre, kailangan natin na minsan yung nagko-coffee or yung kailangan talaga na may um, sweets or nag-sugar rush, yan. Kailangan din natin para maka-survive sa 3 hours, 3 hours or 4 hours or 2 hour class natin. Mm-hmm. So, ang pinaka-important lang talaga dyan is to make sure na pumapayag yung prof nyo na magkaroon kayo ng snack break or minsan, minsan may mga prof naman, okay lang kahit may dinner time. Nalabag yung class nyo, tumatama sa dinner time. There are some professors naman na medyo merciful sa aspect na yan. Pero always make sure na tama nga yung sinabi ni PB kanina, magkaroon kayo ng rule setting bago magsimula ang klase. So, kailangan nyo i-list down ano ba lahat. At hindi lang yung prof yung nag-set ng rules. Kayo din, ask your professor, what are the rules here sa CR breaks? What are the rules there sa kainan? Ganyan. And with that, I guess you it will be much easier for you to navigate throughout the rest of your stay here in the online setting sa USD. Eh, yun naman nga. Kailangan talaga ng approval and ng um, supervision pa din ng bawat isa sa ginagawa natin or proper decorum natin or proper attitude natin while during or during the Zoom class. So next guideline we have when you wish to speak during the online class, you can use the raise your hand button option or chat box so that the professor will be informed beforehand. Okay. So, medyo rate nito kanina sa yung, di ba, pag malalate ka, chat mo muna yung prof mo or do it discreetly. Ganito rin na may essence neto. Huwag kang bigla-bigla na lang na parang, Sir, I have a question habang nagkasalit tayo yung prof mo. Well, siguro pag yung physical class, madali lang to gawin kasi medyo mas may kita naman ng prof yung signals mo before ka magsalita. Pero dito talaga, pag nagkasalita ka, nag-unmute ka lang just to speak or just to tell your professor something, malaki na agad ang consequences niya kasi minsan may interrupt yung discussion. Minsan yung reception ng prof mo, iba sa reception ng blockmates niya dahil sa internet speeds. And it may come off as many different ways din. Baka akala ng prof, pinabastos mo na pala or anything. So be careful on this one lang. Mas mabuting safe ka by chatting first before speaking or raising your hand. And yun na lang din, para rin, katulad ng sinabi namin kanina, para maiwasan na rin yung unnecessary distraction sa mga nagre-recite or sa mga nagsasalta or sa prof na din mismo. Mm-hmm. So that is indeed a very important thing to keep into consideration. Mas everything you do, do it discreetly and do it in a way that won't disrupt the class. So now for our next tip. Ooh, this is very important. Take note of this. Do not record your Zoom class without permission from your professor. Yan, delikado yan kasi meron, meron tayong rules dito sa student handbook or sa ating um, student rules na rin dito sa Faculty of Civil Law. Ingat-ingatan natin yan and siguro sa part natin, reason natin for recording the Zoom meeting is that may mga classmates tayo or blockmates na mahina yung internet receptions nila and nag-log yung um, discussion ng prof. So marami silang nami-miss out. Pero um, hindi siya reason para mag illegal recording tayo ng uh, Zoom meeting natin with the professor kasi meron pa rin silang ina-uphold na um, privacy and syempre minsan yung professor natin meron silang sariling review or notes na talagang for the students lang and kasama yun sa um, reason kung bakit sila ini-invite sa ibang schools for the review or guest speaker so makaka-apekto talaga sa kanila yun and sa profession na din nila so, as a respect to our professor, always ask for permission first. And as well, um, sa mga blockmates natin na makifeature dun sa recording natin, san, dapat approve din sila pag nag-record ka. Malay mo sila pala yung nag-resit. Tapos, hindi niya gusto na nire-record sa resit kasi nahihiya siya. Baka pumalpak siya. Tapos, yun yung ma-record nyo. Eh, magkagalit pa kayo. ba? Actually, totoo yan. Tsaka ano naman, pag sa Zoom naman, narinig mo naman din eh, pa mag-record, just na-authorize naman. Di ba, narinig mo minsan, recording in progress, di ba? So, with that, you can really see na important talaga yung consent. Yung Zoom nga mismo, ina-encourage yung consent. Pwede ka mag-leave, mo kaya mo recorded yung meeting. Kasi, alam naman natin, as future lawyers, ay, baho lawyers na, no? Hindi man lang, future, hindi man lang, ano, parang, diretso student pa lang muna tayo. As lawyers claim in the future it. na, claim it na natin. 
as lawyers, we must always uphold the privacy and co- with the correspondences we have with everyone else that we deal with, our clients. And right now, as law students, siguro, kahit sa mga professors natin, let's uphold that principle na. Especially sa UST, very important yan. To take note talaga nila yung mga violations niyan. So be very, very compliant with this one. Respect na lang the privacy of the professor and also for your blockmates din. Ikaw, ayaw mo naman din record ka pag bumabulakbol ka sa recitation. So ikaw din, wag mo gagawin yan, syempre. <laughs> Alright, so basically, I guess that's all the things that we need to talk about now and we are wrapping it up for our tips during classes. So let's move on to the next one. And now we're down to our last segment, the guidelines after the class or the Zoom meeting. So first we have list down the assigned cases or topic you need to read and schedule a tentative deadline to finish this task. That is correct. And actually tung sinabi ni PB, it's important to build this habit ngayon pa lang kasi I tell you, if tumagal yan, hindi mo na establish yung habit na nagte ka ng notes pa mga assignments or nagaset ka ng mga deadlines sa sinabi ng prof mo, mahirap na yun habulin na ano pa nagpatong-patong na yan kasi imagine you have a lot of subjects, a lot of assignments and then if they give you a lot of these you'll have a hard time tracking them down. But from the very start, you've built that habit. It'll come easier as time passes by. And what is very important here is matuto ka rin mag-plot ng deadlines sa mga calendars mo. Kung may Google Calendar ka or may app ka sa phone mo ng calendars or Notion kung sakali, that is something that you may utilize para matulungan ka mag-track sa deadlines mo. Important yan talaga na i-build mo yan ngayon pa lang. And syempre, as future professionals, kailangan natin ma-master ma- yung time management, proper time management natin dito. And it can also open for other opportunities. Lalo na gusto nyo palang mag-extracurricular like us. Gusto nyo palang kaming samahan sa student council, di ba? So, pag isettle nyo muna yung ACADS nyo and ma-manage nyo na yung time nyo, maka-build up yung study habit, and then you can join us or other organizations sa faculty natin. Basta tamang time management lang. That is very, very important nga to take note. So thank you for saying that, PB. Lalo na talaga yung mga gusto sumali dyan sa amin or baka sa ibang orgs kung sakali. Abay, papagamitan ka namin kayo ng calendar. Papag-plot namin kayo ng mga deadlines nyo. So ngayon pa lang, magandang kaya na yan kasi baka malay nyo pagdating nyo dito. Kami na pala yung sabihin nyo, ay kuya, ito yung deadline. No? Sundan mo, pinlot ko yun sa calendar ko. O di ba, may bragging rights ka na sa amin pag ganun. <laughs> Tsaka at the same time, sa klase mo rin, that is something that will be very helpful for you in the long run. So for our next tip on this one. Maintain a good relationship with all your blockmates. Maybe by simply saying that, You did well, or hope you're okay after class, or kahit hindi after class, kahit random moments lang. Give them those assurances. And true naman, dahil na online setting na tayo dito, kaya kailangan nating turu- tulungan yung bawat isa. Malay nyo, those hope you're okay and you did well, um, it will make your blockmates um, law school journey like, a little bit happier. Diba? Mm. That is really really true. Kasi alam naman natin na mahirap ngayon, lalo na online classes tayo. Well, let's say na dati mas madaling mag-approach ng blockmates, give them a pat on the back. But right now, it may be a bit more difficult to reach out to each other. So, maybe take that extra step to at least go to them, lapitan niyo yung friend niyo, chat niyo lang na hey, are you okay? Or kung kunyari, may good recipe. Kahit good recipe man yan, i-congratulate. Uy, galing mo dun kanina. Paturo nga, paano ka? Nakaka-uplift yun eh. Nakaka-uplift ng momentum. At the same time, yung mga kunyari, kahit sabihin natin, medyo bad recipe niya, pero may nasagot na siya ng tama. Bigay mo ng konting praise na, uy, ano naman, okay naman din yung parts mo dito. I think kaya mo pa namang yan na yan, atake niyan. Those little encouragements, maybe in a case-to-case basis, depende rin sa mood ng blockmate mo. But as long as you give them those words that you're there, that you'll be there for them, I think that'll be a big factor for you to bond together and to survive law school in the online setup. And, and you I never guess. know din kung gano'ng kalaking tulong para sa kanila yun. So that's it. There we have it. These are the guidelines after the class or the Zoom meeting. And also, that is it for all of the guidelines we'll give to everyone. Sana naman na uh, appreciate yung mga sinabi namin. Medyo may kwentuhan pa kami a little bit on some points. And after after giving those tips, yung mga anecdotes pa kami binigay sa inyo. So hopefully, those help you visualize what it's like in the online setup here in law school. So those are all the basic guidelines for every freshies and as well, for our future Thomasian lawyers. 
And now to mash on, let's be ready and tag us at USD CLSC on Instagram and at USD underscore CLSC on Twitter. Use the hashtag, hashtag worry no more and hashtag through grit and grace and hashtag let's go freshmen. Okay, once again, that is hashtag worry no more, hashtag through grit and grace and hashtag Let's go, freshmen! So if you have any questions or things to clarify, contact us through the details provided right here, around here in our Zoom meeting right now in the video that you're seeing today. And ayun din, you can see there our emails, Zocmed, CLSC, everything, Instagram, FB, Twitter. Kaya ayan, feel free to approach us in these channels and we will do our best to get to you. And once again, I am PV. I am Pauline Bartolo, a second year student in the Faculty of Civil Law and the Civil Law Student Council. And I will be in your service for this academic year. And I am your Kuya, Nathan Agustin, a third year student from the Faculty of Civil Law and the Civil Law Student Council. No need to worry, as we got all of these tips in store for you. Worry no more, as we, the Civil Law Student Council, got your back. See you next week, Freshies. Bye. See ya. Bye-bye.